We all know that 68 minus 1 is 67, but where did I get this other result from? To keep track of the number I want to approximate, I first set it equal to a variable, which is why I use cat. We know here that the exact value of cat is 67. In order to extract values that are easy to approximate, I first factor out a 68 from this side, so we'll be left with a 68 times 1 minus 1 over 68. And that's still equal to cat. Then whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. I'm going to take the square root on both sides. So on the left side, we'll have the square root of cat. And on the right side, we'll have the square root of 68 times the square root of 1 minus 1 over 68, where the square root is the same as this 1 half power. Next, I wrote this 1 minus 1 over 68 to the 1 half term as its Taylor series expansion, which looks like this, where this 1 half over this heart represents the combination, or this is 1 half choose heart. I can't explicitly compute this term by term because there's an infinite number of terms, so I truncate it at heart equals 2. This gives us a pretty good approximation for this value since the terms get closer and closer to 0 as you go further up in the value of heart. This is only three terms, so now it's very easy to compute, and we have that 1 minus 1 over 68 to the 1 half is approximately 0 0.99262, which is about a 2 times 10 to the negative fifth percent error from the actual value. Next, I want to compute the square root of 68. And to do that, I use Newton's method or the newton roxton method. So I know that the square root of 64 is 8. So I'll guess that the square root of 68 is equal to 8 plus some error that I'll call fish. The key step is that we're going to assume that fish is pretty small. So fish squared is going to be even smaller. So now when we square both sides, we'll have a 68 equals 64 plus 16 fish plus fish squared, but fish squared is very small. So we're just gonna get rid of it. I say this is approximate. We solve for fish, we'll get that fish is approximately one fourth. Now we can refine our estimate to be that the square root of 68 is equal to eight plus fish, which eight plus one fourth is 33 over four, plus some other error that we'll call sad fish. Again, we'll have this repeat where sad fish squared is much less than one. And so when we square both sides, we'll get that 68 is approximately, in this case, we'll get that sad fish is approximately negative one over eight times 33. Adding this here, we'll see that square root of 68 is approximately 2177 over 264. This value has about an error of one times 10 to the negative fifth percent from the real value of the square root of 68. Now we have all the pieces that we need to calculate the square root of cat, and then from that we can calculate cat itself. So multiplying these two together gives us that the square root of cat, or the square root of 67, is approximately this times this, 8.185355. Finally, by squaring this value, we'll receive what should be our 67, or our cat, which is approximately 67.0003. Six, four, seven, six, which has a 5.4 times 10 to the negative 5% error from the actual value of 67.